Allison. I filled out these forms the best I could, uh, but I could use a little bit of help here. Definitely. Let's go. So I, the first thing in this section, that was really easy, my name and stuff. Uh, this PQ registry ID, that, that sounds a little bit familiar, but I, I don't really remember what it's from. Do you remember that website we had you fill out right when we started to register with the EEC? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Your number was given to you there. So either have it on file or you can look through your emails and make sure that you have that in your own file because it is your number. So All even right. if you went to work for a different organization, it would still stay with you. Okay. So I'll, I'll need that. Um, I'll need that a lot or sometimes. A decent amount. Okay. Yeah, you should so have I it somewhere readily available. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. And uh, I wasn't sure about the um, some of these uh, specific area goals, but when we talked, I did write down two goals that I thought um, were good for me, but maybe we could talk about them. Happy to. The first was when we talked about that RNET we did, I thought that that would be good to increase the... Uh, permissiveness score that we've talked about mm -hmm. so I put that as my first goal okay. um, to increase that so let's talk about that one really quick so when we're making these goals we want them to be smart goals have you run into that term before? yeah I've heard of smart yep so we want to make sure it's specific okay that was specific measurable so we didn't get really to a measurable. You said you wanted to increase it, right? Uh -huh. um, do you have a certain level you want to increase it to by a number of points? Um, yeah, how about five points? I think, I think that, that sounds, looks good. Yep, so I think that sounds realistic, definitely great. So we have specific, measurable, um, attainable. I definitely think that's attainable. Great. It's relevant because it's something really important for our yeah, program. We and talked about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then timely. So what's, or time bound, either one. So when do you think this is a good point to come back and say this goal should be accomplished? Well, we are about halfway through the summer mm -hmm. now, so why don't we do the beginning of next summer? Okay, sounds great. Great. Uh, and then my other goal, and we hadn't talked about this yet, but I, I noticed that Karen is really good with parents mm -hmm. uh, drop, up, drop off and pick up and she's always sending little notes home and I, um, I'm not really comfortable yet on them even though I have a lot to say I, I just I'm not super comfortable there so I was hoping that I could improve on sort of some of the family and some of the parent interactions. I think that'd be great what a fantastic idea so do you want how do you think we could write that as a smart goal? So how about uh, a number of interactions per week, like a number of conversations mm -hmm. um, where I mentioned something specific about that happened with the child. So rather than just like a high or a low, which I'm good at, but mm -hmm. I don't usually get into what happened. So maybe five per, per week. I think that's great. So working to have at least one per day. Yep, one per day. And then uh, we can use the same time timeline um, and specific. I think that's relevant. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, I think we've covered it on oh, that one. Fantastic. Well, let's put that down too. All righty. Okay. So the um, credentials and degrees and all this core competency area. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. It's a little bit overwhelming, all this stuff here. Do you have any advice about how I should, like where I should focus on here? Or like it, it seems like a lot and, and all these seem really important, so. Do you have any current education goals for yourself? Well, I was, you know, thinking about some sort of a degree uh, okay. at some point. Um, you know, all my friends, uh, many of them are, are going through that and, and I, Sort of had decided before that wasn't wasn't me, but um, maybe an associate's or maybe just exploring that um, at some point. I'm, I'm probably not right away, but but at some point I would like to look at that. So. Okay, well that can be one of your professional development goals.
So up here is more of a focus on in the next year. So do you think that working towards an associate's degree is really something that's reasonable for the next year? Or are you looking at that more like a five-year goal? I think that would be more of a five-year. Maybe we could focus on some of the specific stuff mm -hmm. we're talking about now in this next year and uh, wait a little bit on the associate's degree. Is So when I, if I did get that degree or do some of the school, would that count towards some of this? Because I, I'm just really busy outside of school or outside of um, work, so I don't know if I could do both. So would, would some of the degree stuff count towards? Yes, it would. If you have your associate's degree um, in a related field to early education out of school time, um, a lot of the courses will count towards your courses required for your professional development here. Um, we'd have to look at the list, look at the different schools in the area. Some are connected with the EEC, so they would definitely be more in line. But we could look at more specifics when you were, once you were looking at programs. Okay. Yep. So then we can definitely check that off in more of a five to 10 year goal, and you can ignore this top part since it's not something you're gonna be working on in the next year. Alrighty. And then moving down to the specific core competency areas, did you have any questions about that? Or did you have an area that stuck out to you as something you were really interested in focusing on? There were two that I thought were really interesting. One was the guiding and interacting with children and youth, and the other was learning environments and curriculum. Great. I think the guiding and interacting with children and youth is fantastic, especially um, in regards to your first goal, focusing around permissiveness. Yeah, that's why I thought it would be a good one to put on there. Fantastic. All right, great. <laughs> uh, I'll check these off, and then we'll, and then what? So the reason we check these off is that when you are signing up for CEUs, so the courses uh -huh. that are offered by different organizations yep, around the area, about those right, um, they'll all be aligned with one of these core competency areas. So when you're looking, you can really focus on a specific core competency over the next year. Does oh, that make sense? Okay, great. So I can just make sure to pick ones that are, so all of them will have a, an area of focus and I can just pick them in there. That's right. Great. 